Hello Beauty News family! Welcome to Beauty News. This is the 16th of October edition. We're going to be talking about new release beauty products and we do have one update. It's holiday related. But before we get into it, we do have a sponsor. Aura 8 is fine jewellery made in New York City, founded by women for women. Pieces range from classic to statement to completely original. Aura 8's gold feels substantial and because it's all real gold, you can wear it and never have to take it off. Shower, exercise, sleep, cook, anything. It's jewellery for life. And all Aura 8 pieces come with a lifetime warranty because they know it lasts. I'm still wearing my Aura 8 earrings and I love them. The design is simple and timeless. I've had no issues with discoloration and I'm super happy with the quality. So if you would like to save 15% off your first Aura 8 purchase, go to aura8newyork.com beauty and use promo code beauty. That's A-U. R-A-T-E New York dot com slash beauty and use promo code beauty at checkout for 15% off your first purchase. All right, so let's start with uh, our update and our holiday stuff. So we've got uh, information on the MAC holiday coll collection. This is called the Frosted Firework Collection. Okay, so what we've got are the Flashing Ice Extra Dimension Skin Finish Trio. It comes in light and gold. So these are um, three pan palettes of the extra dimension, extra dimension skin finishes. Then we have lipsticks. These come in Ice Ice Baby, which is a frost finish. That's a blue pink with pearl. Sounds revolting. We have <laughs> Snow Filter. Uh, that's a luster. It's a dark rosy pink. Out with a bang is an amplified finish. It's a deep rich burgundy. Heart Goes Boom is a matte. It's a fuchsia. Once Bitten Ice Shy is a luster. It's a sheer white with pearl. Also sounds disgusting. Gag. There's, yeah, exactly. There's five lip glosses. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of the colors. The pictures are on the screen. Check it out if you want. Uh, there's extra dimension skin finish. These are like the single standard size pans. It comes in two shades. We've got flare for the dramatic, which is a warm golden bronze and let it glow, which is a frosty white. Oh my God. Uh, I know there's an extra dimension foil eyeshadow in five shades. There's Sparktacular, it's a sheer nude. Firework the room is a metallic red. If that's actually red, I'm buying it. But it probably won't be. It looks uh, fairly red but, in the photos, though. But you know, it could be. Yeah, it, it could does. Be more burgundy. But once they, yeah. Uh, silver bells is a metallic silver. Explosive chemistry is a pink, and cooler than being cool is a white with multicolored pearl. That sounds like it could be nice. There's a PowerPoint eye pencil. This comes in three shades. You've got dark spark and bitter in glitter. So it's a black with. Uh, pearl and a brown with multicolored pearl. Short Fuse and Be Cool BB is purple with multicolored pearl and a bright white with pearl. Then we have Zenith and Can You Chill, which is a gun metal and a navy blue with large particle pearl. Oh. Why would you have large particles of pearl in a eye pencil? Anyway, yeah, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. Um, no, no. Uh, so that's sort of the individual stuff that we've seen so far and then we have stacks of packs and stuff so we've got the firework it lip kit in blush so this contains a lipstick a lip glass and a lip liner we also have a firework it lip kit in berry which contains a lipstick a lip gloss and a lip liner we have the fireworked fireworked like a charm mini lip glass pack in pink so that contains three, three mini lip glasses in pink shades. And then there's also a one, one in neutral. Oh my God, I'm struggling to like say words. <laughs> then we have the Showstopper Powder Kiss Lipstick Kit. So this contains five Powder Kiss lipsticks. I think they might be minis. I'm yeah. not sure. Uh, there is the Surefire Hit Mini Lipstick Vault. This contains a whole bunch of mini lipsticks. I don't know how many, I'm not going to count them. Uh, there's 12. a Firelit Kit in... 12? There we go. Firelit Kit in Champagne and the Firelit Kit in Gold. Then there's the Sparkler Starter Kit, uh, which contains brushes and the Advent Calendar. 
this is all available now at MAC Cosmetics UK and uh, Selfridges. It's a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's, it's a, a lot, lot of stuff and lot. it looks very typical of what we've seen MAC do in the past, like mini lipstick yeah. kits, um, the sort of highlighter trios, the advent calendar. Strange though, because last year's advent calendar didn't sell out and we actually saw it in the mm. corporate store on sale like months and yeah. months and months later. So I don't understand what they're doing. Um, the one thing that really gets me, which is slightly different to what they've brought out previously, is the um, Powder Kiss lipstick kit because I've heard great things about that formula and I've been wanting to try it. If the price is all right, I like sort of four out of the five colors, so I'd probably be interested in picking that up. Where's the purple packaging that we saw a sneak peek of? Yeah, I don't know. I think that's got to be a completely different collection. Yeah. Maybe like a round two of holiday collection. I don't know. The thing is, we can see with the, like, the lipstick mini vault thing and, like, the bags and stuff, they've got that sort of crushed foil tinsely look. Mm -hmm. So I'm expecting to see that packaging come from somewhere, but we're not seeing it. Maybe yeah. it's going to be like a, a New Year's collection or Could something. Be. I Could don't be. know. All right, we've seen a little sort of, well, one photo of the Sigma holiday collection. We saw this because they were doing a giveaway on their Instagram account. So we don't have many photos, so apologies if it's pretty boring to watch. Um, but this collection launches on the 13th of October. So hopefully when I'm editing this, I'll have more photos. But this is the Rendezvous holiday collection. It contains the Essential Trio brush set. The P Petite Perfection Brush Set, the Rendezvous Eyeshadow Palette, the Beloved Mini Lip Set, the Rose Glow Cheek Duo, and the Rendezvous Makeup Collection. So it looks really um, blush toned nude. Like the eyeshadow palette mm. has six shades. It looks like maybe two of those, maybe three of those are matte, but they're all sort of like blushy champagne shades. The Cheek yeah. Duo is a, a sort of a rosy blush with a champagne highlighter, so very, very white girl friendly. Um, and then there's mm. a few brush packs. Yeah, I, again, my theory carrying over from last week that brands are just bringing out bland shit for 2020 because it's a write-off. All right, so we've seen stuff from Tarte as well. Um, they have a lot of, like, pack-related things. Again, brands friends are doing these packs. Uh, so we've got the Tartlet Give, Gift, Get Amazonian Clay Eyeshadow Wardrobe. So this actually contains three nine pan palettes. You can't buy these individually. Yeah, it's so it's got mini versions of some of their bigger palettes. It's the Tartlet Lil Bloom, the Tartlet Lil Toasted, uh, and the Tartlet Lil Juicy. And yeah, right. like you said, you can only get these in the trio. Uh, there's also the Blush Authority Amazonian Clay Cheek Wardrobe. So they usually do sort of a big blush pack every year. This one, there are three trios. Um, some mm. of them contain highlighters, um, some of them don't. Um, and again, you can only buy these trios in the pack. So a pack. three yeah. lots of trios. The rest that we've seen is pretty much just stuff regurgitated there's um you can get a shape tape concealer with a mini mascara you can get the toasted uh eyeshadow palette the full size with a mascara you can get mini things you can, there's so much crap here like not crap bundles yeah. three mascara only packs um two of them have full size mascaras uh three mascaras in each pack and one has minis uh so that they've just got so many no, they've got more mascara packs. More than that. They've, they've got, got even more. Packs are on the screen. It, it is, you know, if you want the value, you can go for it. Um, but the main things that they have brought out, like we said, are those uh, nine pan palettes and the cheek trios. Um, mm. I lo uh, The thing that really irks me about this is I really love the Tartlet Lil Bloom, the sort of cooler toned nude palette, but I don't want the other two. So it really sucks that you have to yeah. spend you know, quite a bit of money to buy all three when in real in reality you might only want to buy one and same goes for the cheek yeah. trios. I would love one of those. I don't need three, but 
that's probably the no. standout things from the Tarte collection this year. Okay, the last holiday uh, collection we have here is actually from Zoeva. So this is called the Share Your Radiance collection and it consists of an eyeshadow palette, a brush vault. There's also three uh, little sets with their uh, multi-use face powder. So these basically come with a multi-use face powder, a brush to apply it and a lip gloss. Then there is the 104 Buffer Brush, the 106 Powder Brush, and the 228 Lux Crease Brush. I'm not sure if they are new or if they're just promoting them as part of their holiday collection. Uh, but it's all available now at Zoeva Cosmetics. Yeah, and the brush handles are different coloured. Like it's a burgundy colour with a burgundy, rose gold yeah. ferrules. That yeah. brush vault is massive. It's huge. I think it's their whole range. If it's a good price, might be a good pickup. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, I don't mind Zoeva brushes. They're all right. All right, that's holiday this week done and dusted. So let's get on to the new products, the random products. Uh, the first thing we've seen a few new launches from Beauty Bay. So this is the Beauty Bay brand. Um, there's two palettes and a liquid eyeshadow trio. So the first palette is actually more of a, it looks like a Halloween sort of palette. It, it look, doesn't look Halloween. The vibe or the theme of it sounds a bit Halloween. It's called a Book of Magic yeah. palette. Um, this is going to be in Australian dollars because that's what I could see, but it was 27 Australian dollars. Uh, it features 20 ultra pigmented enchanted hues for you to mix together to craft powerful makeup potions. Sure. Uh, it features velvet soft mattes, vibrant shimmers, and next level duochromes, uh, all in the iconic Beauty Bay formula. So that's the first palette. Then we've also seen what they consider their like autumn palette. This is the Sunset Horizons palette, also 27 Australian dollars. Uh, it contains 20 shades of eyeshadow inspired by contrasting hues of an autumn sunset with deep purples, bright oranges, and creamy shimmers. Um, again, all in the iconic formula. And then we also have the Liquid Crystal Eyeshadow Trio in Polaris. And this is, again, 27 Australian dollars, and it contains three new shades of uh, Liquid Crystal sort of uh, eyeshadows. This is a limited edition trio, by the way, as well. So they're all right, blues okay. and sort of silvery colors. This is so exciting. I can't wait to buy these. <laughs> Look, <laughs> the first, the Magic palette, I think it, it's got some nice sort of softer tones of color. Like if you're really into these cooler toned, um, sort of more pastel-y vibe that you could create. It's some... very blue heavy though. It like is. They're... The way it looks in the the palette and the way it looks on the skin with their swatches, I'm like, I don't even know who, what, what is this? <laughs> Yeah, I think some of the Is greens like... in the pan are translating on the skin very blue. This um, sunset one's a bit a bit weird. It's got like two really warm rows and then like a really cool row and browns. But, you know, if, yeah. that, if that's how... I don't interpret this as autumn, but if, if you do... No. There you go. It's got a lot of uh, yeah. greys and yellows. Okay, we have some new lip products from Charlotte Tilbury. So it looks like, oh, these are actually for holiday season. Oops, look, Charlotte, if you don't, if you don't just release your holiday shit all at once and make it obvious, you just you go where we make you go in the episode. True. Um, so these are limited edition '90s inspired lipstick shades. They're inspired by the iconic supermodel era, which is. Look, I don't hate it. Go on. Live I, like your best all these, life. I like all these shades, to be fair. So Yeah, I so I life. don't mind them, yeah. So we have the Matte Revolution in Super U, which is a warm peachy nude. And then we have two shades of K-I-S-S-I-N-G uh, in Super Nude, which is Cool Nude Beige, and Super Starlet, which is a red wine. They're all available now at Charlotte Tilbury Makeup. They're 40... Uh, 34 US dollars. These kissing lips, I think I want that nude shade, but I don't want to make an order just for that. I know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a nice cool tone shade. Yeah, they're definitely really pretty. Um, I think people are going to be into these. There we go. And they've got them. collectible bejeweled cases. Oh, riveting. Riveting. 
I gotta gotta get me those demontes <laughs> on my lipstick. <laughs> it's love what I it. live for. It's what I live for. Yeah. All right, we've got a new release coming soon from Chi Chi Cosmetics. So this is an Australian brand. So um, they're pretty well known for being, I would say, Australia's version of like NYX. Would you say? Yes. Yeah. So that that sort of price yeah. point, that sort of quality, I guess. Um, and they're bringing out a Super Nudes palette. So this is this is the superhero of nude palettes, um, and it hasn't launched just yet but it's launching very very soon probably by the time you're watching this it's probably launched uh, it's got 32 shades ranging from mauve nudes blush nudes cool nudes peach nudes warm golden nudes um, and all the way to deep and smoky nudes uh, it's got different textures there's mattes shimmers metallics uh, toppers light ref reflecting duochromes and four glamorous pressed glitters um, it's vegan and cruelty free and it is going to retail for 49 Australian dollars. Now, Chi Chi bring out so many nude palettes and so many rainbow palettes. Look, this is a big nude palette that not everyone needs, but I really like the layout. I do. I want yeah. it. <laughs> I want it too. I might buy it. <laughs> yeah, there's something about it. Where I I'm fucking like, love oh, it. They've done it well. Oh, I know. I know. I love it. I, I love saw it. this. I'm here for I, it. Yeah, I think I saw them post this. It was like late Sunday night or something, and straight away I'm like, yeah. oh, I'm reposting it because it's interesting. Yeah, I yeah. love that. There's sort of like three columns of like those um, mauvey shades, and then you've got a few columns of the more neutral, warm shades, and then you've got the smoky browns. I love the smoky browns. Yeah. I wish there wasn't a black in it because black's not nude, but they have like everything else in this palette is nude. It's super nude. Yeah. But Chi Chi, you fucking drop the ball putting a black in there. You don't need that in there. You just need to put in the darkest possible brown you can create. They but do I have some this, dark but... browns in there though. So, you know, they you've, do, you've got yeah. 32 shades and I think these are new shades as well uh, from what I yeah. recall. But Look, you can chuck in one black if you're going to have 31 other beautiful shades. Yeah, but I'll I will never it. use it. No, it's fair. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I love the layout of this. I don't need a big nude palette in my life, but like you, I would welcome this in my life. I think they've done a yeah. really good job. If I see this in store and I like it in person, I'd buy it. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wait for Maya, uh, like, Boxing Day End sales. End of year sale. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, they often have like, for sure. you know, 20 or 30 or 40 percent off Chi Chi, and I'm going to be like, yoink! Thank you very much. Yoink! Super nude I'll take is that. Mine. Thank you. Yeah, I think they've done a great job. All right, we have another nude collection. Uh, or my bad, it's taupe. Uh, this is from ColourPop. So essentially, what we have here is the that's taupe palette. There's a Snake Eyes Super Shock duo with the shades Kush and Ritz. The Super Shock highlighters in shades Seismic and Out of Quartz. There's Ultra Glossy Lips in Queen, Cobra and Rattler. And then there are Lippy Pencils in Cool, BFF and Ashton, plus a Mini Rose Glow Oil. Um, I don't hate this. I, this is quite a nice... I love this. I think this is really beautiful. Selection. Yeah. I do think it looks similar to what some of the stuff they've done recently, though. See, um, I, I would say yes, but if you scroll over to a photo that I'll have on the screen now, it is compared to Nude Mood and Going Coconuts, which I have heard a lot of people compare this palette to. But once you see it like next to it, you realised yeah. how warm-toned Nude Mood is and how neutral-toned Going Coconuts is, and compared to those... This is legitimately cool toned. These are cool more toned, toned yeah, not it is sort of like, sure. yeah, not, you know, oranges. And um, if you're like me and you've been wanting more cool toned nudes in palettes, you will see the difference. You'll be like, yes, finally, yeah. this is what I've been after. Um, especially going into the cooler weather in like the US and the Northern Hemisphere, this is going to be such a good nude palette. Um, and they didn't have anything else in their range like this unless it was very, very gray or very very purple toned so i think yeah. this is gorgeous i think it's very different to what they do have and it this is what they were missing so i'm really glad to see it um you know it's not going to be for everyone if this is not your tone you're going to find this boring as fuck but 
This is how much I like this. Okay, I don't love ColourPop formula and people are going to crucify me for that, but I like this palette, like the shades in there, much more than the Natasha Denona, um, what was that? Glam. Glam? Glam, yeah. Yeah, so I sort of wanted the Glam palette for the cooler tone shadows, but this is cheaper, it's more condensed, and I would prefer to try this. Um, the thing I want to point out, though, is one of the Super Shock shadows is actually a repackaged um, one from, uh, what's her name, Laura Lee, when she did that No Kill LA oh, collection. Oh, okay. Um, I actually yeah. own it, so Ritz, I actually own it. It's one of my favorite Super Shock shadows, though. It's like a beige... Yeah. Uh, base with a beautiful cool tone shimmer this would go so well with this palette so I think this is a great collection I think I'm, it's about bloody time they've been bringing back cooler tone nudes and taupes so I love it before we continue with this week's episode we do have some sponsors these days I do almost all of my shopping online for starters, we can't go to the stores right now, but even during the best of times, I don't like to lose half a day or more at the shops if I can help it. But giving all your data over to online stores isn't as safe as you may think. Cybercrime happens very often in places where you might use a public Wi-Fi network, but you can protect your passwords or credit card numbers with encryption. It's super simple with the help of ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN secures and anonymizes your internet browsing by encrypting your data and hiding your public IP address. They're easy to use app runs seamlessly in the background of your computer, phone and tablet. Using ExpressVPN you can safely surf on public Wi-Fi without being snooped on or having your personal data compromised. And ExpressVPN is rated the number one VPN service by Wired and comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. I really like ExpressVPN. It's an intuitive little app that means I didn't have to waste hours of my life trying to work out how to use it and I know it gets the job done every time. I just click a button and off I go. Protect your online activity today and find out how you can get three months free at expressvpn.com slash beauty. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash beauty for three months free with a one-year package. Visit expressvpn.com slash beauty to learn more. One size fits all never actually fits all, so why should you apply that to your beauty routine? We all have unique needs and Function of Beauty can help you find the best products for you. Function of Beauty makes personalized shampoos and conditioners that are formulated just for you and now they have even more to treat your unique needs from hair to toe. Along with hair care, they now offer customizable body wash and body lotion. Their new body wash and lotion line are tailored to your skin moisture level and other preferences. And you can pick your favorite color and fragrance just like their hair care. Function of Beauty's formulas always use clean ingredients, they're cruelty free and every bottle is is individually formulated to give you what you need to look and feel your best. I've been playing with my newest batch of hair products from Function of Beauty for quite a while now and I'm loving my shampoo and conditioner formula. I opted for lengthening thermal protection, curl definition, shine and a silicon free formula and my hair loves it. I'm really pleased with the formula that I picked out and the results I'm getting. So what are you waiting for? Go to functionofbeauty.com slash beauty to take your four-part hair profile quiz and check out their body care range and save 20% off on your first order. Go to functionofbeauty.com slash beauty for 20% off and to let them know you heard about it from Beauty News, that's functionofbeauty.com slash beauty. Orate is ethically made in New York City and aims to provide quality pieces at more affordable prices than other high-end jewelry stores. So I have the mini gold bar earrings and I opted for the 14 karat white gold while Kat has the midi gold bar earrings. They're a little bit bigger than mine and they're in a 14 karat yellow gold. They're great pieces and I literally never take mine out of my ears. They've held up beautifully through months and months of daily wear. In September, Orate launched the Ode to Nature and Bamboo Collections, where each purchase results in a donation to the Conservation Action Fund or last chance to save bamboo lemurs project. Orate will provide shoppers with the number of acres saved and carbon stored as a result of donations to these projects. So if you'd like to save 15% off your first Orate purchase and help a good cause, go to oratenewyork.com slash beauty and use promo code beauty. That's A-U-R-A-T-E newyork.com slash beauty and use promo code beauty at checkout for 15% off your first purchase. We have a new release from Fenty Skin here. This is the Instant Reset Overnight Recovery Gel Cream and it is launching on October 20th. So this 
is, uh, okay, it contains Kalahari melon oil, so that's supposed to help deeply hydrate, and it's rich in antioxidants and vitamins, hyaluronic acid and aloe soothes conditions and hydrates, niacinamide helps reduce the look of dark spots and uh, creates an even skin tone, and baobab is an African tree that bears nutrient-rich superfruit, uh, it's deeply hydrating. This is interesting. The packaging, in the lid, it's got a little flip top bit that has like a scoop in it. I think that is so fucking clever. You've actually got somewhere to store that away mm -hmm. without yeah. having, because like a lot of Korean brands do this. They have um, a cream with a scoop, but essentially when you take the lid off, you've got the scoop and then another little lap that you have to take off you've got to put that down and like there's a lot of touching and annoying flat shit going on with that sort of packaging but this is really clever I like this one thing that I do think is interesting it does not look like there is much cream in that tub yeah it, it really looks like a really shallow tub doesn't it it, it does, almost yeah. looks like unless it's really wide but I can't imagine it yeah, being it super could be. wide it could I be know. like I, I I mean it could be fucking huge who knows but um I like the packaging and it makes me want to try it simply because of that packaging I feel like when we first talked about Fenty skin that was the same thing you said was like I don't really care about the products but I like the packaging the packaging looks cool yeah. so they're doing yeah. something smart with um bringing out sort of enticing looking packaging because you know People that might not care for the moisturizer might go, hang on, that scoop in the flap is a really smart it idea. Looks interesting, yeah. Yeah, because I do. I've got those little scoop things just floating around my bathroom everywhere. Yep. And you end up Same. not using them or losing them. So I think that's that's mm -hmm. really smart. Um, yeah, I don't... Oh, look, everyone who owns a makeup brand these days seem to be bringing out a, a side skincare brand. It's like all the mm -hmm. rage this year. All right, we've got a new collaboration with Hip Dot. So was it the last one we saw? What was that? It What's was that? SpongeBob. Kesha. Glitter. And Kesha. Kesha oh, as Kesha. Well. That's right. Yeah, Kesha, yeah. SpongeBob. So they're doing all the sort of random collabs. And this one is even mm -hmm. more random. All right, so this collaboration is with Tapatio Hot Sauce. So, yeah, it's, it's just as random as, um, oh, I suppose, any food makeup products, really, which was, you know... All of 2019 why not have a hot sauce mm -hmm. collection as well so this collection is limited edition we've got two eyeshadow palettes they're 14 dollars each which is not bad but they are only six pans so they're pretty small uh, we've also got pepper infused lip gloss set 24 us dollars um, this set contains five lip glosses they're actually very cute because they're in the like the shape of the bottle which i think is they are cute it's it's very novel very cute um, they've got the Tapatio drip sponge, uh, so it's supposed to look like a hot sauce drip. It's ten US dollars, and then there's a collector's box, um, which also comes with a mini bottle of the hot sauce. So that's seventy-two US dollars. Does the world need this? Probably not. But if you are a big no. fan of hot sauce and particularly this brand, which I've personally never heard of, um, your and your worlds are colliding. This is your time to. Uh, Yes. Well, these swatches drive me bananas. <laughs> I just um look. I, can't I think them. this is this is really cute, but I don't. My world doesn't need this crap. I look, don't care for it. Look, only because I've never heard of the brand and I don't really care for hot sauce. But the the lip glosses are very very cute. I can see that selling out really fast. The rest yeah, of it is just sure. like it's just it's makeup for the sake of makeup. But it's just stuff. then again, yeah. yeah, if there was like a Vegemite collection, I would go nuts for it. So you know, it's going to be yeah, the right maybe, audience, yeah. and we're not the right audience, so that's fine. But no, if, yeah. yeah, there you go. Are you a hot sauce fan? No, <laughs> no, no. Okay, let's talk about Huda. We have some. Uh, stick foundations so these are the faux filter stick foundations uh they're saying it's a lighter version of their og foundation comes in 39 shades and it's fragrance free transfer proof waterproof 
and non comedogenic. So these are going to retail for 39 US dollars each and they launch on the 21st of October at Huda Beauty and Sephora. Along with these foundations they're also launching the Water Jelly Hydrating Primer, this is 33 US dollars, and the Build and Buff Foundation Brush, again 33 US dollars. Look, this is just an expansion of what she's already brought out. I think it's probably a smart move because um, not everyone wears stick foundations. Look, mm. I can tell you, after having a baby, stick products are so much easier because you can just chuck them on and blend them out. You can do your makeup really, really fast, which I appreciate. But I think when the sort of Insta Glam thing was happening, her foundation was very, very popular because it's like it's like house paint for your face. Yeah. So it's it a is. smart move to bring out something that's a little bit lighter and more everyday friendly because, you know, 2020, we don't, not everyone is wanting to put on like really heavy makeup, but also the trends have mm. changed and that Insta Glam makeup is no longer something that people strive to achieve. So um, mm. it's smart that she's bringing out something different. And the shade range looks fairly good. Um, you know, she could definitely expand on it but there there seems to be some nice undertones and um different depths in the range as well all right we've seen a new release from kimchi chic uh, another week another kimchi chic release we actually saw this last mm. week um but we hadn't seen it all so we didn't talk about it but you know it's happening every week almost um this is sort of an ex expansion of they brought out the jewel highlighters just two weeks ago and now they've got the double sided blushes um they also did a giveaway and you can see in the this photo that they've got the purple shiny compact which was the highlighters mm. the pink shiny compact which are the new blushes and a sort of what looks like a matte pink uh compact which i'm going to presume will be bronzers or contour powders um, but that's yeah. probably going to be the next thing that we see. So these have already launched. They come in six shades and they're 15 US dollars each. So you can see they do have different finishes. Like some of, it's really strange. Some of them have like, they're all shimmer and others are all matte. I would have liked mm. to have seen sort of half shimmer, half A matte. Split. Yeah, but yeah. there are some nice shades there. So there we go. We've seen a new collection from KKW Beauty. So this is the Opalescent collection. So it's in celebration of Kim Kardashian's 40th birthday and it's inspired by her birthstone, the Opal. So this consists of uh, semi-matte liquid lipsticks in eight shades and a 10 pan pressed powder palette. There's also an opalescent lip gloss and two new shades of their lip liner. Uh, so the palette retails for 45 US dollars. The semi-matte liquid lipsticks are $22 each. The birthstone gloss is $20. Then we have the uh, opalescent lip liner which is $12. Like I said, that comes in two shades. You can buy the whole collection for $250. This collection launches on the 21st of October at 10.46 a.m. Pacific really? time. That'll be her birth time, I yeah, betcha. Yeah, that would have been her birth time. You know what you can do now? You can take all of that information and do her birth chart and find out what she's really like. <laughs> Yes, good point. Someone do that and let us know in the comments. I actually don't hate this collection. Fair. It's got a whole bunch of nudes, which I like. And then it's got that electric purple, which is like my favorite color of purple, um, mm -hmm. which actually works really beautifully to smoke out nudes. Uh, and then you have some more mauve sort of pinky shades that, you know, work with it all. The shades of the liquid lipsticks, I love the nudes. I love the bright orangey color and I love the bright pink. So these are sort of my color stories so I, I sort of dig it um but it's not going to be enough for me to shell out any money Purchase on it. it no yeah absolutely not but it, it does look fun okay we've seen a new product from linda hallberg we saw a new release just last week i did want to update that just really quickly though because um we talked about that just as it was just shown we ha hadn't actually seen many uh lip swatch videos or whatnot these are actually like transfer proof 
uh, vinyl lip products. Oh, so, yeah, are they're really they? cool. Yeah, so if you let them set, similar to, I'm going to talk about my favorite lip stains that I always do, the Tony Moly Shocking Lip Stains. They're a sort of similar thing where you put it on, it's got a glossy finish, but it's sort of, once it sets, the color sets on the lip and then the, there's like a gloss um, over the top. It's, it's a strange formula, mm -hmm. but... Um, I'll have on the screen um, Linda swatching these on her lips and doing the kiss test and you'll see that they right, okay, barely yeah. transfer. It's only the gloss that really comes off, which is really cool. So interesting. they sound like cool lip products. I think they're, they're, mm. they're yeah, more intrigued by them now. So this week we've seen a new addition to the Interstellar Liquid Eyeshadow range. So she brought out one shade of this. It was either at the start of the year or sometime last year. It was like a cool toned gold sort of sparkly liquid eyeshadow and now we've got two new shades there's multi-chrome and supernova um so one is sort of an iridescent white that shifts what looks like it shifts pink to blue and then we have your sort of typical multi-chrome uh, metallic eyeshadow that shifts looks like green to purple to maybe a bronzy red color um so yeah it's We've seen a lot of brands bring this out recently. They're very pretty. They're, they don't all work as well as we want them to. Um, but I'd be interested to see how these go. Yeah, Supernova is really pretty. On the deep skin, it just looks magical. Yeah. I love that. It's the gorgeous. way that her skin tone brings out the blue in it, absolutely stunning. All right, we've seen a new shade released from Maybelline in their Superstay Matte Ink liquid lipstick formula so it seems like this is a limited edition maybe halloween release but so many people are asking for this to become permanent because they i don't I, i'm surprised at the the reaction to this um so it is called thrill seeker and it's a midnight black shade it's supposed to easily coat your lips with one stroke for a matte finish that will last 16 hours uh, it's now available in the us for 7.99 and yeah, so many people love this formula and are dying for the black and they want it permanent. So I'm really curious to see if this is going to be a new market for Maybelline, if they can keep this permanent and they've just like <laughs> delved into like people that love black lips. It'd be really interesting. Um, yeah. But there you go. Okay. Nude Sticks has created a sister brand and it's called Nude Skin and uh, it's skincare. But apparently it's not in tins. Thank fuck. Oh my uh, God. So, <laughs> I know, right? So, they're saying it is your new four-step, simple, multitasking, vegan-powered regimen. Uh, every single one of our nude skin products have been formulated to multitask with dermatologist-approved good-for-skin ingredients to cleanse, exfoliate, tone, and moisturize your skin for a healthy boost of nude, fresh-faced beauty. So the products are vegan, gluten-free, cruelty-free, powered by high-performance botanical extracts and free of sulfates, synthetic fragrances and parabens. The collection includes the Citrus Clean Balm and Makeup Melt, the Gentle, gentle Hydra Gel Face Cleanser, Lemon Aid Detox and Glow Micro Peel, the 5% Citrus Fruit and Glycolic Acid Glow Toner, and the Citrus Sea Mask and Daily Moisturizer. It's all available now at Nude Sticks and Ulta Beauty. Um, and Nude Sticks ships internationally to US, Canada, UK, Mexico, Australia, Singapore, South Korea, and Japan. So it looks like they'll be keeping it on their website for now. Look, I normally don't really care about um makeup brands bringing out skincare but the ingredients they have just make me want to smear this on my face so yeah i knew you'd say that uh, like the toner for example grapefruit lime i think it says lemon apple and orange yeah oh, i i look it just sounds like it's something i i want to put on my face um yeah the citrus clean balm and makeup melt orange apple and rose hip Oh, sounds mm -hmm. great. The mask and moisturizer has yuzu <gasps> and turmeric in it. Yes. Yeah. Yuzu. Anything yeah, I yuzu? Knew, I knew I you'd say it. that. All right, we've got another Halloween release. This is from P. Louise, whose main 
sort of popular product is their eyeshadow base and they're bringing out three new shades for Halloween. So I don't know if these are limited edition or just new shades to the range, but they're saying who's ready to receive a paint and brush for 18 pounds in the spookiest shades you've ever seen. I'm sorry, but they're not that spooky. Uh, we've got the they're shades Flame and, yeah, Flame and Firecracker, which is a red. There's Nice and Saucy, which is a gray and sweet and sour which is a green it's I thought that not, was going to be something i think spookier. she already she already has black oh, okay. in her range um i thought she already had red maybe i don't know i'm pretty sure she's got green as well it's probably a different green but look it's just new shades we have seen the uh, new palette from Terra Moons Cosmetics. This is the El Barrio palette. So it's a nine pan palette and it contains a duochrome, three metallics, a pressed pigment and four mattes. So this is going to go up for pre-order on the 23rd of October. Pre-orders close on the 30th and the palette starts to ship out December 13th. It retails for 45 US dollars and this is the first palette from Terra Moons. They usually Ooh. do uh, individuals. They have some beautiful like uh, sort of uh, translucent multi-chrome type shades um, and they've also done multi-chromes. Um, but yeah, this is their first palette and it's kind of like green, red and blue. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah. Yeah. I like the greens. I think they're pretty. What are the reds yeah, like? Yeah, they're nice green shades. The reds were nice. Um, so I received this and I swatched it. And look, they all seem to swatch really nice. I haven't had a chance to use it. I mean, I've had a chance to use it. I'm just not wearing makeup these days that much. So uh, I pretty much only put it on when I film. But uh, they seem to swatch really nicely. So there's there that. Yeah, yeah, it's a very trendy colour story. I think a lot of people will be keen for that one. All right, last thing. So we've seen some new blushes from The Balm. So these are the It's A Date powder blushes. Uh, there's three shades and uh, they're now available on The Balm website for 17 US dollars. So these blushes are supposed to have like skincare benefits in them. It's got organic jojoba oil, organic grape, grape seed oil. They don't have any talc, synthetic binders, dimethicone, PTFE and parabens. The packaging is also 100% recyclable and you can pop the pans out. I like it when brands do that with packaging to make it recyclable mm. because we yep. a lot of people own so much makeup that it'd be nice that Absolutely. once you use it up you can actually get rid of it effectively. Um, the shades are quite nice. So the three shades are It's a Date, which is a really nice peachy orange shade. There's Big Date, which is a mauvey pink. And Third Date, which is a sort of pinky, warmer nude shade. Um, that one looks like it's got some iridescence to it as well in uh, the swatch. Yeah, yeah. Like a, a sheen to it. Yeah. Look, they're pretty shades. Uh, the Balm do some nice face powders. I think that's what they're probably best known for so there's yeah more I like their blushes they're really nice yeah and I've also found in the past a lot of their blushes were quite bold whereas it's nice to see them go a little bit more muted um, in these three shades the time has come to dedicate this episode to a beauty news VIP and this week's VIP is beauty by Anne Chris yes I thank believe you beauty by Anne Chris may have a YouTube channel of her own so maybe related to beauty out. <laughs> oh, maybe. you don't say. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. So, Kat, tell us what our emoji is for the week. Okay, it's going to be fireworks um, because two reasons. One, we've seen the MAC fireworks collection and it's mm -hmm. appropriate. But also, let's try to pretend <laughs> this episode is way more exciting than it actually is by going fireworks! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> because it's, it's, it's a bit of a snooze fest. I'm sorry, guys. Wow, <laughs> that was a really, really bland art. Don't even... It is so not our fault. If you are upset with the bland ass crap that's being released, go tell the brands, because that was yeah, a let fucking it... snooze fest. Yeah, let us know in the comments what uh, your favourite product of this week was because I think for me mm. it'd be the Chi Chi Super Nudes palette and yeah. the Colourpop taupe 
collection, but yeah. they're so mine boring. <laughs> so. Yeah, mine is the Fenty lid. <laughs> Just yeah. the lid. Just the lid. Yep. That's, wow. Yeah. My it's pretty God. Bad. Just yeah. the tip. Mark, mark. Uh, oh, yeah, that that's a really, really fucking boring, boring ass episode of boring ass shit. Fireworks, fireworks, fireworks. Fireworks, <laughs> woo, woo. <laughs> uh, all right, guys, we hope you enjoyed it regardless. If you did, give it a thumbs up and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.